Oh, I love that idea, Patty. Thank you so much. Okay, we are live here outside, and yes, it is cold, but it is cold all for a good cause. Joining me this morning is Jeff McDowell, Jr. Uh, with Fire Dogs and Junk Removal. First of all, thank you for being outside with <laughs> yeah, me of course. this morning. Let's talk about what you guys are doing, because this is something very special. Curbsides for charity, and you say first year that you guys have done this. Yes, first time. So we are partnering with firefighters on a mission. Uh, if nobody's heard of that, you might be more familiar with Drumstick Dash yes. that they do every year. Yes, yes, yes. They partner with Wheeler Mission. Okay. Um, so with us partnering with them, we're going to be going around with uh, other IFD firemen and other people that are with firefighters on a mission and picking up items off the curb. Okay. Collecting the money for that and donating 100% of that to firefighters on a mission, wow, which will then incredible. in turn get donated to uh, Wheeler Mission. So where did this idea come from? What what kind of spurred this act of giving? Uh, so. Myself and our owner um, both know Chris Boykley, who kind of helps run firefighters on a mission. And we had chatted with ideas on ways to give back to our community. Uh, Chris has already been very involved with the, the obviously the drumstick dash a lot of people know about. Yeah. Uh, and we just kind of presented this is what we can do right. uh, to, to give back. And Chris is on board and That's we just started awesome. rolling with it. That's fantastic. So I know this starts right Sunday, November 22nd, and it just keeps going from there? Uh, it's just the one day for this year. One day for this yes. year. Okay, so yep. what do people need to know then for that one day? So they can call us on the number. Uh, and then they can tell us that they want to schedule for curbsides for charity. Yeah. Uh, we, we do take payment and pretty much all forms of payment we can accept. And we'll get on the schedule to send a crew out to get those items for you. And then again, all of the money that you give to us, 100% right. of that is going to firefighters oh, on a mission. That is fantastic. Let me get back to you guys. Uh, your mission at Fire Dogs Junk Removal. Tell me a little bit about who you guys are, not, not just during this time of year, <laughs> but in general. Yeah, so Fire Dogs Junk Removal is a local company, started in 2011. Uh, we do junk removal and labor-only services and some small demo work. Uh, we really try to help people out with those projects around their home. Uh, we are owned by uh, Bennett and Miranda Grow, so it's a family company. And Bennett just recently retired from Grissom Air Reserve Base as a firefighter. Okay. Uh, I myself am an IFD fireman. And then we have some other part-time firemen with us and prospective yeah. firemen that work with us as well. Now give me some examples of when people think, okay, junk removal, what do they mean? What can I set <laughs> out? What do they want kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. So we, we get about everything, to be honest <laughs> with you. Uh, TVs is a big one, couches, refrigerators, do brush outside, hot tubs, sheds. Okay. Uh, and then everything in between that. Everything in between. I would imagine people have stuff at home, right, that they think, I can't set this out for the regular, you know, garbage collector, but I need to dispose of it. I need to get rid of it. Is that where they just give you guys a call? Yeah, yep, exactly. And then we'll, we'll come out, send the crew out, and take it off their right. hands. So what for you guys? I know that you said that this um, kind of it came together a little while back, but why for you is this so important to take on something like this? and give back. This is one of those things I would say you don't have to do anything at all, right? Right, right? And everything would be fine, but you're taking that next step. Yes. So since the beginning of the company, we've always wanted to, to serve our community and helping people with their projects is a small piece of service, but we all wanted to actually give back. Yeah. Uh, and this is just the first step. We have some plans moving forward to, to do things continuously, consistently. Um, this is just our first step to, to start giving back in the, to the community. In that that is way. wonderful. And I would imagine you say first time this year, this only makes you want to do even more, right? Yes, Continue exactly. Continuous down the road supporting these wonderful causes. Okay, give the information again, what people need to know when and what they need to do. Yeah, Curbsides for Charity, November 22nd. 22nd. It is a Sunday. Uh, they can give us a call to schedule and everything typically will have to be located outside, especially now with the COVID stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we want it to be quick and easy and social distancing as much as possible. Doing what we can, absolutely. Uh, and then we'll get you on the schedule and send a crew out there on November 22nd. Okay. Uh, and then again, we'll, we can take credit cards, cash, check, Venmo, and then all those proceeds will go to firefighters on the mission. That's fantastic. I always say that the best feeling this year is being able to give back, even if it is in just such a small way. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. We'll put the, all that information on our website, IndyStyle.tv. Tracy, I am a hunkering that you might be able to find some junk in your garage, perhaps, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think maybe a little? Maybe. Just a little? Just a little bit. I'm just going to open the garage door. They can have so all come of it. Come on in.